Good morning, sunshine. Good morning, America. How you feeling today, P. Did? I'm feeling good. Me too. Uh, hopefully we have a little bit of redemption today. We got redemption last night, yesterday. I got completely steamrolled uh, on my morning hunt with these folks uh, due to the cattle. Completely just owned me. Uh, they, they, they proceeded to stand in the decoys and stare at me while I blew my call. It was agonizing. Uh, so we switched up yesterday. Gerald ran a hunt and trafficked the birds that we were originally trying to shoot and did good. They shot 30. So big shout out to old Pete did. He found this field yesterday evening. Uh, old buddy of his and um, man, all dark geese, quite a few honkers. Yep. New uh, new area for us. Very new area that is always welcome. Uh, lots of geese, lots of geese right now Speaking down here in devil. Kansas. What? I just heard. One. Did you hear one? Yeah. The sun's coming up. How time is it? I think we got seven eleven today. Seven eleven shoot line. Yeah. It's six forty seven. So we did good. We are. First time we've ever done this, we are butted up right to a railroad track. And uh, if a fast train comes through, I'm going to have everybody get out of the blinds uh, just because. But the height is amazing. Lay down blinds today. They are, yeah, toot toot. <laughs> They're gone. I mean, they are gone, gone. Quickly, guys, a couple uh, things I want to tell you about the motion decoys. Uh, you guys always asked about the duck floater motion decoy. It's the best motion decoy in the world. I will link it down in the description below. Use code BOB at checkout for a free gift. Uh, awesome decoy system. Number two, high and dry duck pool. If you're looking for that late present uh, for your son, for your dad, whatever, high and dry duck pool, you can't go wrong. Uh, it's got a heck of a warranty on it. American made. Use code BOB at checkout there as well uh, to save yourself some bucks. So, and then... The podcast, we got to crank one out tonight. What should it be about? Mm. Cattle. Cattle and trains. Cattle and trains. That's what it is. So go check out the podcast. Subscribe to us. Uh, always doing a giveaway. We will, in fact, be doing a giveaway on this one. Uh, we got a few things to give away. So Whew. wish us luck. Smash the thumbs up button. Let's get to rolling. Let's, uh, let's show them the blinds. And um, right at 20, 25 dozen full body Canada's only, no snows. There's not a snow goose over here, uh, which is good. Allows us to uh, just concentrate on them dark geese and, and not, the, the snows are hard, put it that way. Here's a blind situation. Mr. So Papa Chili? So I saw him since we're on a crosswind. A lot of people keep shooting at the bird because when the wind catches them, they're going away and it looks like they're standing still, but they're not. You gotta actually aim under it because they're going up and out. So now your lead changes and you're shooting under them. So if you draw a triangle with their head, tip of their wing, that's where your aiming point is. Hold on, so tip of the day. Tip, tip of the day. <laughs> Aim small, miss small. That's a good one. <laughs> no, it's not supposed to make sense. I know, but it was too good. Aim big, miss no. big. <laughs> God. Tip of the day truly is, when it's windy out, wear a bathing suit. There you go. There we go. There we go. That's what I was looking for.
you down, guys. We got, we got a bunch right behind the sun, Bob.
flip him over and he's got some jewels. Yep. Do what? Oh, did he did he shoot it? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it had to have been the end because it went on the other side of the tracks. That's awesome. That is awesome. Not very old, but we'll see when we get back. Yeah, well, we know who it is. Yeah, he shot it on the end. I was going to say, it had to have been that left side, so. Heck yeah. There you go. Lucky, Freddy. Lucky, dude. Lucky, dude. Yeah, go ahead. That's a good pigeon hunt in this field. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Cold? Cold? Yes, a little bit. Is that your first band? No, it's not. <laughs> I was My expecting to hear it. Yeah. It was a banded wood duck. Banded woody. Ba first band of goose, though. Yes, it is. Awesome. Heck yeah. Yeah, he shot him over here and went. I seen him sail. Yeah, he was yeah, swung out that way. Yeah. There he is. We're going to check how old he is when we get back. Fred, you didn't get to retrieve that one. I don't know what to tell you, okay? You already got it. He beat you to the punch. to the pile. <laughs> some uh, technical difficulties with <laughs> recording the band situation when we called it in that is I don't know what happened to the mic but the mic went dead on us and we just had to cut a lot of that footage but update on the band it was indeed four years old so most of us were correct on the age guessing game um, and it came from Cambridge Bay none of it Canada if you, if you don't know where that is you probably don't uh, google it Google it, check it out. I think it's like 2,300 miles uh, north. It's basically right on the Arctic Circle, pretty much. So that's where most of our banded, uh, I, I wouldn't say most, that's where all, in fact, of our banded lessers come from. It's really cool. They come back every year down here to winter and they love it. They don't leave until they gotta go back, you know, in February to head north uh, to breed, you know, so. Really awesome story. Uh, awesome that Cole shot that bird fair and square and got to take it home. They're mounting it, uh, which is awesome. So, in other news, <laughs> uh, I am still booking snow goose hunting uh, clients. 
uh, number one. So go to sandhillflyways.com, fill out the booking form. On the form, be specific and say, I'm interested in the snow goose. So I know. Um, number two, the podcast is popping off. It's always linked down in the description. It is for adults, like I always say. Number three, guys, highanddryoutdoors.com. Okay, if you're looking for that perfect gift uh, that doesn't break the bank but isn't really cheap um, for your duck hunter, for your goose hunter, get them a duck pole, high and dry duck pole. If they're a private, or not, I guess private, but if they're a public land marsh type of guy or a duck hunting boat type of guy, this is the perfect tool. If you order the high and dry duck pole, by today or tomorrow, it basically by tomorrow being Monday, you will receive it before Christmas, okay? And do not forget to use code Bob at checkout uh, because you will save yourself a decent amount of cash. So, and it helps me a lot when you guys use that code as well. So it's a great incentive for my subscribers, all of you, and I get a little bit in return for my hard work. So. Thank you all for being here. I love you all so much. I got to get in here and edit and upload this video. Uh, and then I got to get over to the farmer uh, down the road and help him build a hot fence today, like I promised. So uh, happy holidays, guys. Stay warm. Stay safe. Remember, boats on deep water. Guys, don't test your luck. Your life is not worth a bird. Your life is not worth that day of hunting. Be careful out there. Until next time.